Hello YouTubers, today we're going to be replacing new power cable That's the new one we get it from Canon And we're going to replace the desktop one What we get on the Canon downrigger It's going to be a little tricky because we didn't open up this Canon rigger for many 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 years So definitely it's not going to be easy I started doing this yesterday and I'm gonna show you. It's gonna be a little tricky. Sometimes they will go open easy, and sometimes they will not want to go open easy. So basically, you got uh, six screws one, two, three, four, five, six. You just remove the screws. If it's properly sealed, it's got a little gasket, silicon gasket. To put the seal to seal in the in the moisture to the rigor. But what I did, I cut it nicely with the knife a couple times. You don't you don't want to cut it too deep because it's gonna create a sharp edge on it. So what I did, I cut a little more on the bottom, which is right here. And basically, <coughs> we're gonna give it a shot. I got this idea how to do it separate because it just doesn't want to come out so this is my idea everybody's got their own idea to do it I'm hoping this is gonna release the silicone sealant so what I did I just put a little barn in it and I got this big pry bar with a piece of wood bottom Let's give it a shot so what happens is you want to put this so much pressure enough to little by little break it off the silicon we're not going to rip it out and pull in one shot we're just going to create the pressure and let him just a little by little release so we give it a shot here we go Because the pressure. You don't want to put it too much pressure on there. Because you don't want to crack the cover. Or you don't want to crack the base. This is going to take you a little while. Be patient. A little bit, a little. It will go. It's going. Nice. Very nice. Alright. It wasn't that bad. Uh, just a lot of thinking. Lots of thinking how to take it out without breaking any parts. So, just a little bit left. Just a patient. You need to be patient, little by little. You don't want to get it too much or any dents on the plastic because what happens later, there's no way you get it out. It's not going to look too good. This thing never been opened for like, I don't know, 20 years maybe? Maybe more? Wow. Looks like brand new. No moisture in it. Mm. Nice. They put a lot of sealant on it. <laughs> Holy moly. That's a good seal. I guess that's why nothing goes in and it was lots of sealing that's why it was holding pretty good sometimes uh, 
guys go cheap and uh, they don't put enough sealant so the lot of moisture goes in there and start deteriorating all the connectors and uh, all the board is going bad most most of the time but this this looks like mint very nice all right so we're gonna get this cable pop out with this new wiring the strain it comes in but this one will work if you want to drill a new hole or next to that new hole but then they're gonna have to fill it up this with the uh, sealant or something but um uh, i really want to do it so we're gonna see if we're gonna make this work with the existing hole if not we're gonna order it another one which the new cannons got it a different strainer but we we'll give it a shot we're gonna pull out this cable we're gonna disconnect the fuse uh, and see how it's gonna close it up with a strainer if it's not gonna be on the way or if it's not gonna be flapping on the air left and right we we'll give it a shot if it's gonna be too much movement I'm gonna, I'm gonna order the new strainer the one that's like bolted in and it's uh, it's just a different design than this one like I said, this one will work if you want to drill another hole. And I don't want to drill another hole, I just really want to use the existing one. And I think pretty much sure that the existing one will work with the new one, because new one is uh, it's a little way bigger. Alright, let's disconnect that. This. I'm gonna leave this for a little bit just like that I'm gonna put the the strainer <coughs> with the cover on and see how it's gonna look like and if it's gonna have a too much movement then we're gonna replace the with a new one different model I think it's gonna work. We're just gonna have to put the sealant in it, extra sealant, and then we're gonna tighten up these bolts. This is gonna keep it right in the spot, so not gonna be no movement whatsoever. We're just gonna put some, lots of sealant and clean it up nicely. Alright, so what I did basically, this has got a a little bit round on the top and the bottom. I just round it off a little bit on the top and the bottom so it fits much better in the center, doesn't the kink to the sides. So when you close it up, if it's right in the middle of the center, later we're gonna fill it up with this whole sealant and cut it off nicely and clean it up. So the whole thing when it's gonna be nice and tight. There's gonna be no movement with the cable. So if you're gonna put a whole bunch of uh, tape, electric tape on it, just dry fit and see if that cover is pressing enough, not too much, not too little. Let's see. Actually, it is good. Nice and snug. So it's not too much. Otherwise, if it's gonna be too much tape, this space right here it will be way bigger. It will be like this. You don't want to have this because what happens when you tie it up with those two two bolts? You will crack the cover, the case. You want to have something like this. This is nice.
Uh, let's put the strainer. Let's put the strainer and see how the thing is going to work with the strainer. If anything, we're going to have to readjust the hole. Maybe trim a little more. To get the strainer in the place. This trainer himself has got a little groove on a little notch right here. So hopefully when the whole thing is pressed down it's gonna keep this trainer in place. Alright, so basically what I did, I wrap around those wires a couple times. Uh, electric tape so give you a nice thicker skin on it. Because what happens is when you wanna close it up, those two points they're gonna press the wires right here so it's gonna hold it right in the place we're not gonna pull it out and rip it out from the connectors <coughs> right. so let's assemble that and we're gonna dry fit close it up the cover see if everything can close it up nicely before we're gonna put the sealant on it all right so this is nice will not slide out when the cover is gonna press that spot right there on the top right here it's gonna close it up even more the spacing so it's gonna set the wire in the right place but the way you want to do it you want to do not all the way through don't do this all the way through because this will not gonna pinch all the way through you want this to pinch it right through so you want to do like halfway past this spot right here, right on the edge. Okay, this is a good spot. Just want to double check. Yeah, it looks in a good spot. Let's put the cover and see. Make sure you connect all the wires. You don't want to work on down ringer on the bolt when it's not working. Let's put those screws. What we're gonna do, we're just gonna set the three screws and then see how that thing is gonna close it up. Basically, we dry fit. You want to make sure don't snag it too much because you'll rip it out of the threads. Okay, so this is right in the spot. Uh, if you feel too much force, don't force it. Because you wanna have a nice snug on it. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna notch it a little bit more on this part. Actually maybe in the bottom, yeah, we're gonna do a little more notching right in the bottom to close it up by hand, a little way closer than it is. So this is gonna be set in place. Hopefully it's gonna work. If it's not, we're gonna order the the new one, different kind of type. But I think when it's gonna close it up, get it nice and tight, should work. All right, guys. So I put it in, nice and snug. Very little space left, so it's it's a lot of tension to it. But I just don't like the way it is. And if you're gonna pull a little more, it will just pop from the bottom. So basically, the, the one which uh, comes with the strainer is not gonna work. I'm just gonna order it. I'm gonna put the link to the description below and uh, the different strainer for that. It's gonna work better. All right, guys. Uh, so I got a different kind of strain the reef it 
this is a different kind of sizes for different kind of wires but we're just gonna use the two of them which is something like that so we decide we're gonna change instead of doing this which is gonna be also pinching the wire it's literally gonna be pinching the wire but this is gonna work better especially with this setup with a little modification it will work so basically it's just gonna go you don't have to just you don't have to cut this and reconnect it's gonna go right through and it's gonna give you a nice tight seal basically it's weatherproof you little literally not gonna be submerging a downrigger you just need to make sure it's weatherproof all right let me show you what I did so this is the setup we're still gonna leave this tape and what I did I just took a grinder put a brand new wheel and gently I just shave this side right there little by little just shave it shave it enough to get this not over over the tread because what happens that tread is not that big I wish if they will make the bigger tread it would be nice but this is gonna be just enough to catch the tread right on the edge fits perfectly and um, it's gonna go right there very easy I'm just gonna make a what I did also I just notch it with the knife a little bit more just scoop it up not too much little by little so it fits snuggy later we're gonna put the sealant all around we're not gonna go too crazy with it this has been sealed very well like really very good but we're just gonna be sealed enough just in case if we need to open we're gonna break the easy seal before you want to put everything together I'm just gonna try fit how nice and tight it's gonna be basically something like this yep. just gotta loosen it up a little bit okay yep just like that so when the screws is gonna tie it off we want to the rest of the screws but those two, two screws gonna tighten it off nicely you don't want to create too much force on it right here so it wouldn't crack just enough tighten off the screw very gently and we're gonna have a sealant all around there this is this is gonna be enough just to keep the water out of the electronics we're just gonna make sure also we're gonna put enough sealant right here when the screw's going through. So when we get the moisture, you don't wanna get the moisture going right through that cover. And basically that's it. I like this connector way better than uh, the other one comes with the wire. Because this is very nice and stiff when it's gonna be all dry up. Alright, let's gonna put the wire together and we're gonna put the sealant in. Uh, basically, what I'm using is just the inner window and door siding trim sealant. This one, and you could clean it up, it's not actually silicone, 
it's paintable so you could clean it up with the water easy to clean it up because you don't want to get the alcohol all over the plastic because it's gonna start dry it out it's gonna give it a white spots white mark lots of people clean it up with alcohol but you gotta be very cautious you don't want to go over because if you're gonna go over the plastic it will burn the plastic you could do that too but if we're gonna just pull a nice beat all around nothing crazy this is gonna be just enough to seal So we got uh, strainer in, the strain relief, makes you nice and snuggy. Same thing we're gonna, before we're gonna pull, put a uh, sealant, we're gonna drive it again. Don't forget to connect everything. I don't know if we're gonna be changing uh, the fuse, because that's the inline fuse and actually inside in the rigger so you have no access to it but it is automatic when it's gonna get hot when it's gonna get hot it just shuts off the down rigger but sometimes on the very hot days the whole body down rigger is gonna get hot and uh, when you use uh, lots of uh, up and down with the down rigger it could trick the fuse maybe we see this year if it's gonna work or well, no problem we're gonna leave it otherwise we're gonna replace that with the regular fuse we're just gonna drill a hole right through and put this one right here but this is very old fuse they don't even make those anymore but it works so far so we're gonna stick with it and like I said we're not gonna be putting so much sealer to it so we could have easy access to it in the future. Like I said, make sure you connect everything. Alright, so it's nice and fit. And uh, let's get the sealer going. Like I said, we're not gonna go too crazy. It's gonna be enough get uh, moisture going through and in the future if we're gonna need to disassemble this is a little lighter than a silicone it will still gonna hold it in place though don't go too crazy with it just enough to get a good coverage and like I said this is gonna be very easy to clean up with the water then the silicone because if you get the silicone and you don't know what you're doing sometimes you get this thing all over the place and doesn't work well silicone to clean it up is not easy and you're gonna lose your mind but this is very safe all right let's pull out gently and get a good amount of that and same right like there little more in there like I said if you have an access of that extra it is very easy to clean it up okay she's in nice 
going to make sure we're going to put it in the top before we're going to put the claw cover on it. There it goes. That's going to give you a nice seal. Alright, this is like surgery. One shot. You're going to get all over your hands a little bit though. But it's easy to clean. Very easy to clean. Alright, let's get the screws going. Like I said, don't tie that up too much because you will strip the thread and that screw it would not gonna hold completely sealed enclosure. Just enough to get this thing snug. Don't go too crazy. Just enough to close it off. All right. So the sealant came out, which is nice. That's what you want, especially in the top. Especially in the top when you get uh, most of the time is open for the water, for the rain. But let's clean up this thing. That's gonna be very nice. So the wire we're gonna tie it off. It basically looks like this. When it's done, doesn't flap all around. Nice and stiff. Works great. Actually, I like it. Not bad. It's better than uh, the one came with the cable. But that's a pinch and a cable. And this is very nice actually. So that's usually what you're gonna get on a uh, new downriggers, the new generation. Alright, let's clean, clean up that sealant. And we're gonna get the. Uh, Start working on the other one and to clean it up there's no rocket signs just like that little by little you don't have to get all over the place and like I said this is how uh, just a regular water don't go too crazy with the water, don't get too wet on the rag. Just enough to wipe it off that sealant. And like I said, the guys, lots of guys using a silicone, but this, this is a, that's plenty. That's plenty and enough. And it's easy to clean it up. And just a big, if you want to use the silicone, it's your option. But just be, be careful. Be careful with the, alcohol if you want to start cleaning it up because like I said the alcohol will give you that it's gonna literally it's like almost gonna burn an acetone don't even think about it using acetone acetone is, will be melting the plastic 
So this is looking pretty good though. Not bad. Nice, clean. Looks like a brand new. All right, I hope you guys like it. Subscribe. I'm gonna put a link below for the new harness and uh, new strainer relief. If you guys wanna buy this instead of use the one that comes with the cable, it's up to you. And uh, see you in the next project. Thumbs up, guys. Happy fishing.